So OBS just added a Twitch VOD feature, which will let you separate music from your VODs. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up and we're gonna talk about some things. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Beatwalker and welcome back to another video. First and foremost, and a disclaimer, OBS has come out and said that this will not protect you from the DMCA rules that Twitch has set out. So just keep that in mind. Overall, what it does do is prevent your VODs from having the music that you played during the stream, but the stream will still have the music in there. So I believe Twitch does have some form of filter that when you're streaming, it can pick up the music that you're playing. Similar to what Facebook has, if you've ever streamed on Facebook, which I have for DJing and stuff like that, they will actually hit you while you're live streaming and take your video down right away. So I haven't seen it on Twitch, but I just want to throw that out there. So, so just a disclaimer, but I think it will help out a lot. All right, first and foremost, if you haven't set up voice meter to have your music going into a separate source, I'm gonna link the video above so you can set that all up, come back here and we'll continue forward. All right, so the first thing you want to do in OBS is make sure that it is up to date. So you'll want to go to this help tab here, check for updates. And if you have the latest update, it's going to tell you, Hey, I have the latest update. If not, then just go ahead and install that easy. Then you're going to want to go to settings in settings. You'll go to your output tab. Your output mode will probably be at simple right now. Go ahead and switch it to advanced. I can't do it on the screen because I'm recording now but it's gonna allow you to have this Twitch VOD track feature enabled. Once the Twitch VOD track's enabled, it'll have two selected. Now, depending on what sources you have running, you might want it to run on a different channel. I just leave it on two because the majority of my other audio sources come in through one, including the mic and stuff like that. So just leave that there. And then again, you can mess with the streaming and recordings. I'm not gonna go to, into that deeply here, but if you want to see another video on how to set these up better for you, I can do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you're not seeing the Twitch VOD track feature, you can go back to stream, make sure your service is set to Twitch, and then it will enable the Twitch VOD track feature. And then hit okay here. All right, so as you can see, I have Spotify sound set up down there. If I go to properties, it's set to my aux input, which is the additional input that I have for music in voice meter. So obviously I want that separate. So from here, we'll go to advanced audio properties and the Spotify sound. Let me expand this. If you have a number two checked, you're going to want to uncheck that because what that's going to allow it to do is eliminate the music from going to the VOD. So if you remember, track two for the Twitch VOD track was selected. So you actually want to unselect it in this area to prevent the music from going to the Twitch VOD. And then everything else can remain the same. Now, if you want the music to come through to your recording, so let's say you're recording um, in the background for whatever, you can go back to settings, output, and to the recording tab, and you can actually include the audio track in here for the recording. Now, if you want to take it out, you can remove it here and then, um, it'll take it out of the recording, just like the Twitch VOD track. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What you want to do is probably test it out. What I did to test it is I did a quick stream. I checked on my phone to make sure I was hearing the music in the background, and then I stopped it, went back to check the VOD. And of course it was just my voice. So it does work similar to how soundtrack does that has that same feature. So again, that that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, I hope that this helps you out and prevents you from having any other copyright issues. But again, it's just, it's not a safe proof way. The only real safe proof way right now is just playing no copyright music or playing copyright free music. So the music that I've created, quick plug, is all copyright free. I'm gonna add some playlists below that'll help you out. Also did a no copyright chilled playlist with a bunch of other artists as well. If you wanna check that out. So yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I have some more videos coming just like this and some music related stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one later. Yeah.